So Tristan, it's yeah. been one year since Occupy started in Tampa. What are some of your fondest memories of the past year? Getting chased by the cops through the street. Getting chased by angry cops through the street. Um, that was actually in New York when he went for, up for the anniversary up there. Um, <laughs> you know, I did this other guy. Did mic checks at restaurants. See, I came late in the game. I did. I wasn't here for Curtis Hickson. But I had a lot of fun. Um, there's the campfires late at night. There was the night the cops dropped off. What I, I'm guessing I could best describe as a deranged prostitute. I, I don't know what that was. What happened? Um, well, one time late at night, um, two cop cars pulled up next to the camp. And... Um, out of the back came this woman dressed. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be there. I don't know how to describe it, but um, she came and she introduced herself and said that the cops told her that us and her would have a lot in common and that she would find friends here or something. And um, because she came out of the back of a cop car, she asked her if she's wearing a wire, and then she flipped out and flashed us. Uh, a few times and ran off into the street and the cops were just standing there across the street with this um, <laughs> smile at the cuffs yeah, those are <laughs> shit eating good on their faces uh, <laughs> like you know like this cute little joke they play um, I, I guess that that's what they did in New York too they would bring you know mentally challenged people to the camp to just you know Things up. But it was interesting. We got it on camera. We accidentally deleted it. It was tragic. Um, that was definitely a memory. That was one of my first uh, first nights in town, actually. So you guys aren't occupying a park anymore. Everybody's packed up and left Joe Redner's uh, Voice of Freedom Park. What's what's going to happen going forward? Um, I think the occupation of public space as a protest tactic um, works well. Um, I don't think it's an effective protest tactic anymore because, I mean, the protest is really all about getting attention, you know, so you've got to change things up to get more attention. Um, the problems are just as big, you know, things aren't getting, aren't getting any better. So, um, what has happened is it spawned off a lot of other groups, you know, like the Tampa Solidarity Network is now forming. Um, it's it's kind of a you know people describe it as a hub of other activists. I think it's going to continue to serve as a shot in the arm, like a central place to Lawrence. He was actually like a first responder to grievance for grievances. Yeah, believe it or not. You know, um, uh, when I was in New York, a reporter stopped me and asked me, "Well, some people say it's dead." And looking back, I wish I would have said, um, you know, we're not here to entertain you, <laughs> you know, like, um, yeah, I mean, like, we're, we're not, yeah, I actually write for, uh, Creative Loafing, yeah, 